Hello and good day. Today in this video, I'm going to be talking about my game I've been developing for the past three, four months or so, Banana Next Gen. This game is going to be coming out to Steam at the end of this month, November 2024. Currently have my second Kickstarter up and running right now if you want to go check that out and support the project. But today we're just going to talk about some of the features I've been working on and adding over the past few months because it's been a while since I've given an update to Banana Next Gen. So let's jump right in. We can see right here, we have this old guy. He's, he's the old wise banana. And he's gonna be throughout the game. You play as this banana, you just kind of fly around and you're in this banana kingdom castle and we're trying to take care of the banana king. He's, he's ruined everything here in the banana kingdom. So this old wise banana, we can just talk to him now. Whoop. Traveler, you've arrived at the banana kingdom in its darkest hour. We were once the most prosperous beloved land in the fruit world. All thanks to the wise Grand Banana King. However, after his mysterious death, his son took the throne and everything changed. The new Banana King is nothing like his father. He's cruel, impatient, and self-absorbed. He shut down trade, threw out citizens he didn't like, and forced us to worship him. Our kingdom's health and happiness withered, and worse yet, people started disappearing. I met one of those poor souls, a citizen who barely escaped the castle. He told me the horrors he witnessed, our people beaten, peeled alive, even baked into bread for the birds. We need your help to stop this madness. The, bana the Banana King is cunning and flees from any fight he can't control, but you must find a way to bring him down. Please save our kingdom before it's too late. Defeating the Banana King will take patience. The Banana King surrounds himself with banana guards all the time and always has a way to sneak out. You must learn the ways of the castle if you were to trap if you were to have a chance at truly defeating the Banana King. Meet me up ahead and I'll show you currently what's currently in our way from heading up to the top of the castle. Okay, so that's kind of the intro to the game. And this is the overworld map. Here's where you load into all the actual levels. We got uh, 15 levels here in Banana Next Gen. And we can see the old wise bananas right here again. And if we go up here, we can see some golden bananas. And those golden bananas, oops, I accidentally talked to the old wise banana again. And he's gonna tell us about these levels and basically expa explain what I was gonna explain about those golden banana gates up above me right now. Those gates don't let you go through unless you have enough golden bananas. So, okay. So he's telling us about this level and I'm just gonna get out of this conversation. And we could see right here, here's the third level and it's gonna take 125 banana coins to unlock. So we can't actually go in that level right there. Uh, we can't go in level 2 either because this needs 50 banana coins to unlock. So we're going to go ahead and go to level 1 because this level, as you can see, doesn't require anything. So, okay, we are in our first level. I'm just going to collect some banana coins. And I'm going to I'm gonna get some golden bananas as well. Ooh, I keep on getting hit by these bananas. So... The main objective of this game is just to collect banana coins so you can unlock more levels, collect golden bananas so you can unlock those gates to get you to go higher up the castle because that's where the king's final room is and that's the ultimate goal. Defeat the banana king. Now something that's been brought to my attention is this game is a very casual game. You can't even die in this game. and. Not that it was really brought to my attention because that's kind of how I planned it, but I have had a few people suggest that there be a non-casual option. So I've been playing with the idea of giving our hero, Banana here, a set amount of life, maybe five hearts, something like that. So if you bump into a banana like that, boop, you lose a heart. It makes uh, the challenges that much more scary. Okay. Got a, myself a decent amount of banana coins here. Woo! And there's a golden banana down here. Oh, I realize I'm playing music. I wanted to, wanted to disable the music so we could just have the sound effects so I can overlay music later. So actually I'm gonna do that right now. I'm just gonna turn off music. There we go. That way you can hear this beautiful voiceover I did when you collect a golden banana here. You ready? Check this out. Golden banana! Yeah! Got ourselves a golden banana. Very nice. Okay, I'm gonna... I'm gonna go ahead and get on out of here. Maybe collect some more coins on the way. 
So I'm planning on adding some more skins. Right now, there's a few skins to unlock and choose from. Uh, and they're, they're not full skins, they're just faces. So I want to add some more skins. I, I actually need to redesign the Banana King, King's face. Just make him a little bit more crazy looking. Right now, his, his eyes aren't as crazy as I was hoping for. Okay, look at all these banana coins we're getting. Beautiful. We're gonna go back home. Okay, back to the overworld. Here we are, we can see now we have our one golden banana and we've got 59 out of 82 banana coins right there. So I'm gonna be a hacker and I'm gonna make it so I don't need the three gold banana coin or gold bananas to get past this gate. I'm just gonna zoop on by it. That's not gonna happen in the real game. You won't be able to get by that unless you have enough gold bananas. But I just want to show you the banana king. So we're gonna go ahead and go up to the banana king over here, go past all these levels. And here's our buddy. Oh, he's facing the wrong way. I forgot. I was doing some tests and, and I need him to face the other way, so. He's not going to be facing that way in the, in the legit game, the, the final release, I should say. So here's the Banana King. All right. Yeah, what do we have here? A little banana trying to stand up to the king. This should be appealing. <laughs> so, take that. All right. And the objective is to hit his crown. And he, got, he, has those oh, he has those banana guards. Make it a little bit more difficult to hit his crown. Go and got him once. Actually, I think that was the second time. Because every time you hit him, he spawns another banana guard. Woo! Yep, got him again. Now he has three banana guards. Come on, you banana king. I can take you out. Take you out with my banana tied behind my back. Or not. There we go. What's this? Oh, a scratch. I have more important matters to attend to. Run along while you still can. Boop. And there he goes. Defeated the first level of the Banana King. And each next level of the Banana King is pretty much the same battle. It's just more banana guards will appear each time. So I'm gonna skip skip here out of the game so we can take a look at the map real quick. So this is this is the whole overworld map here zoomed out. You'll never see it from this view in the actual game, but just to give you guys an idea of kind of what we're looking at, we have one, one, two, three, four, five, five, five floors, six if you count the the roof part underneath this crown, and each one of these tiers has three levels in it. So this bottom has. Three levels, three levels, three, three, three. So we five times three. Those are 15 levels right there, and and this is it. This is it. Um, I'm excited to keep on finishing these final touches here on Banana Next Gen, but it is getting pretty close to being released. Like I said, end of November. That's it's coming up here pretty soon. We're at the start of November right now. I'm excited to see this get put on a Steam and to hear your guys' thoughts on this. Thank you for watching. I hope that you will play Banana Next Gen and tell me how much you enjoyed it or hated it. Either way is good with me. I'm leaving now. I'm hanging up the video. See you next time. Have a good one. Bye.